Welcome everybody to School of Engineers. Today we will solve a structural engineering FE exam problem related to frame determinacy. Let us begin. So the problem is we are asking the classification for the frame shown in the figure. Now, if we will use the reference manual equation for the frames, like how you can see here in page 271 I think it is a little bit complicated and uh, it's time consuming you know so based on that uh, there is another very quick method that uh, I would like to share with you guys today now this method is very simple and very easy the static indeterminacy of frames, it depends on the external indeterminacy and the internal one. Now, for the external indeterminacy, it equals the unknown reaction at the support minus the available static equilibrium equation, which is usually 3, plus the summation of the additional equations that we have from any internal hinges and the number of equations that it is generated by an internal hinge it is the number of members attached to that hinge minus one so if you have if there is two members attached to that to that hinge so the available equations that it will give us it's one and there is internal indeterminacy and it's simply the number of closed loops multiplied by 3 so if you have a frame like that you have two closed loops so it's 2 multiplied by 3 and the total indeterminacy level for the frames it's the external plus internal if it's less than 0 it's unstable equal to 0 it's stable and statically determinate if it's more than 0 it's stable and statically indeterminate to the the answer which is that positive number degree okay so let's go to our example and check what we have in here so like what we said so we have three unknown reactions here and we have three unknown reactions here so it's six minus we have like what we said three basic equilibrium equation the forces in the x and y and the moment plus let's name these hinges 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so for hinge 1 it's attached to two members so it gives us m minus 1 which is one equation plus member number 2 it gives us 2 member number 3 it gives us 1 member number 4 it's attached to four members so it gives us three equations plus hinge number five it gives us two equations plus member uh, hinge number six it gives us two equations plus we said the number of closed loop multiplied by three so this is one two three four five and six so it's 6 multiplied by 3 and the answer of that is 10 so it's more than 0 that means it's stable indeterminate to the 10th degree which is C now as a quick practice we can check this problem below for this problem we have two hinges so we have four unknown reactions minus we have three basic equations plus this is hinge number one this is number two and this is number three for number one it's one equation for number two it's one equation for number three it's two equations plus we have one closed loop so one multiplied by three so this is zero if you go back if it's zero it's a stable and statically determined Thank you guys for watching.